Hey everyone, Ken and Adria here from Northern Viking Explorer. We are here in Juneau, Alaska, and we want to take you with us on the Gold Belt Tram up Mount Robert. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. If you are interested in more information, we'll have links below in the description. It's time for us to ride the Gold Belt Tram up Mount Roberts. Now we have an open-ended ticket so we can go at any time during the day and we can ride it as many times as we like. It goes up 1800 feet, it takes 6 minutes and it has a maximum speed of 23 miles per hour. Let's head on inside. In here you'll find a coffee shop, a ticket booth and the current pricing during our visit was $50 for adults and $35 for children. Each tram holds 60 people and we'll wait in line here and while we wait we can learn all about the cable system. Now this tram uses a double reversible or jig back system. There are two trams, one is called the Raven and the other is called the Eagle. We are ascending 1,800 feet above sea level on the only aerial tramway here in southeast Alaska. We will be passing through an Alaska temperate rainforest, which averages 90 inches of rain and 100 inches of snow per year. Some of the trees you may notice are the western hemlock, the Sitka spruce, and red oak. The Sitka spruce gets its name from a Clinket Island called Asiatica Ha. That was a fun ride up. Yeah, I really appreciate this viewing station that they have right at the top so you can see out without any obscured glass. Mm -hmm. Let's go visit the mountain station. Inside, you can get your caffeine fix at their coffee shop. They've got artifacts. You can check out a carving. And they've got a large souvenir shop with all your gold belt tram gear. Magnets and more. Heading downstairs you'll find a casual restaurant called the Timberline. Here you can get your fish and chips, your burger or dessert. They've also got a complimentary theater if you'd like to learn more. This is my new friend. Is that Barry? Barry. Outside we'll check out the viewing platform before we head out on our hike. From here, we can see the ships and the docks below. And the tower for the trams. And the massive cables. So when you get up here, it is much colder than it is down at the pier. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe bring a coat or a jacket or a sweatshirt. And, and I just killed a mosquito. It must have been the size of a nickel. Like it was that <laughs> big. It was huge. It was attacking me. <laughs> Razor sharp teeth. <laughs> so we are here and I think we're going to go do the orange loop and down to the cross and then all the way back. Almost? Almost? Uh, the Am eagles are... The eagles are bigger than you. <laughs> the Orange Trail is actually called the Alpine Loop Trail. It's a half mile loop with many great viewing platforms. Oh, the Queen Elizabeth is leaving for the day. I'm 
so glad it wasn't foggy here today. We got amazing weather for this. Because sometimes you can't see the ships out here. If you're gonna hike to the cross, it's an extra quarter mile in each direction. We can go have a snowball fight, Andrea. The Alpine Loop Trail has an elevation gain of 150 feet and 60 stairs. Mosquitoes are coming out, Andrea. I have bug spray, but I don't think we need that. No. So you can hike up here from town, two and a half miles down that way. Don't make the mistake and go the wrong way. We're basically back at the main building and we were about an hour on the trails. So yeah, a really nice hike, uphill, downhill, lots of great lookouts. And we took lots of pictures in that time as well. So really, really beautiful up here. An amazing day. We are back. So I think we're gonna head back into town down the tram again. So thanks for visiting the Gold Belt Tram with us here in Juneau, Alaska. I hope you did like this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe here to Northern Viking Explorer. We have plenty of videos coming up that we'd love to share with you.